investigation, I assume, and uh, when do you expect to have some word on it? I uh, can't put you a timetable on it because we're in the process of uh, getting all of our files together in the death of the three officers, and uh, uh, we're trying to put uh, first things first right at this moment. will continue. Uh, no one can say at this point whether there is or is not any connection uh, with the people that are involved. Uh, it would seem at this point there is not. Uh, this will be pursued further. Um, out there at that time, uh, the officers uh, announced who they were. and they entered the residence whereupon uh, two shots were fired by Mr. Hernandez and only then did the officers return the shots. That, that was Mr. Rodriguez, isn't Rodriguez, it? Rodriguez, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I certainly don't feel good. And, uh, it's, uh, it's something that uh, in this business, I guess you expect, but uh, you don't ever expect it to happen to you or your partner. But it did. Do you thank God you're alive today? I sure do. But when what? did you first know that they were going to kill you, and what were your thoughts then? Well, I didn't know for sure until we as kind of assumed that's what was going to happen when we turned off of Westmoreland down in the bottoms. But... Uh, we didn't know for sure, or I didn't until Sam and Bonnie told me that uh, that's what they were going to do, kill us. I suspect with the habits that they have that they're going through tremendous withdrawal. Um, we uh, are looking at them uh, almost constantly because people like this do need attention. <clears throat> they, uh, regardless of what it's alleged that they have done, they're still will require net medical attention and they will receive the proper medical attention in this area. A man going through withdrawal, of course, from a narcotics habit can oftentimes, uh, unknowingly to himself, take his own life. Are these men being closely watched? Yes, they are, very definitely. Are, there, are uh, deputies keeping a constant eye on them? Yes, they are, along with the nurses and the doctors. Oh, they are receiving medical care? Yes. Are you taking the, the medical personnel to the jail, or are the prisoners being held in a special section? They are being held in a special section of the jail uh, for that purpose, because we, th they knew that, or we knew that they would be uh, in or exhibit withdrawal symptoms. Um, we have an area there where they can be kept under observation and uh, so that nothing can happen to them, hopefully. This was a needless killing, as we have had in this area in the past. Both of the officers who are employed by and work in this department were well known in this area, well known in criminal investigation, well known in many areas throughout their community, not only as being good police officers, but being upstanding gentlemen in the community.
Naturally, we're running down all the information that we can at this time in order to find those persons who are responsible. Uh, we crossed the river bridge, and right after we crossed the bridge, we'll leave the suspects towed. avenues that can be opened when uh, uh, a bunch of officers get together and for a common cause. How soon will these suspects be arraigned? These suspects have already been arraigned. Why do you think Guzman was still in Dallas? Well, there are a number of reasons, I suppose, uh, that he could still be, was, was still in Dallas, uh, among which would uh, be the possibility of uh, not enough funds to travel.
I don't know where I have encountered a more uh, cooperative effort or a more cooperative spirit. I think you find this, and this is generally true among uh, all law enforcement agencies, more particularly when uh, an officer is killed. But it just further demonstrates the things that can be done, and the uh, car was not in too condition, good condition, I understand. Uh, could be any number of reasons. Maybe he felt like that, uh, as the expression is, you uh, can get lost in a crowd, so to speak. Did it ever occur to you that he, or did you ever believe that he had left Dallas, or were you always convinced that he was still in Dallas? I don't know of anything that, uh, honestly, that would uh, lead you to believe that he was anyone, anywhere else. Uh, I know we had reports uh, from all over about things that happened, some uh, of a similar nature. Sarah, you said that you felt that uh, the pair were in Dallas all the time. How long had you actually known that they were in Dallas, and uh, uh, how long had you had the place staked out? I think we had known. Uh, For quite some time before we hit, or at least we had uh, information that we had to develop uh, to see if he was. Uh, some of these areas that I uh, don't think it's wise to get into. Do you feel like you had been in that? Sheriff, what led to the stakeout in East Dallas, which subsequently led to the arrest of Guzman and Lopez? The development of information that we had received uh, indicated that these people were still in this area, in an area of East Dallas. How many deputies participated in the raid? I can't give you the exact number of deputies that were there. There were quite a few. A total, there was, uh, oh, there was an excess of 40 men, I'm sure. Did an anonymous tip lead you to, to believe that this is where they were holed up? It was a little bit more than an anonymous tip, uh, Carl. It's uh, some information that had to be developed. Uh, that information had been reliable in the past, and we felt it was good this time. Now, the wrong apartment was entered first. That's what correct. led to this, this mix-up? 